unbelievable. A twist in tales as gunmen kidnap Fulani man in Igbarapo demands seven million as ransom. What is the world turning into? You know, so the bites, not they like me, they bite them. You know, they like bites at all. If you bring your bring your hand to make you bite them, he go shout. Say, no, not bite me. What's happening? They said um, some gunmen has kidnapped a uh, Fulani headsman and um, is asking for, they are asking for ransom of seven million. We don't know what's happening. Probably some people are trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. I don't know. Or they are trying to show them what they do to people and how they affect lives and property. I don't know. We're going to be getting the whole, and I mean, this is in your state. This is happening in your state where this is becoming like the order of the day where people are being kidnapped. We are all aware. And that's why we continue to speak against this evil going on in our society please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time we sincerely appreciate you god bless you gunmen kidnap fulani headsman in igbarapo demands seven million naira suspected gunsmen have kidnapped a fulani man amodu amodu shehu on friday evening at alalo oba in Igbarapo, North Local Government Area, over your state. The incident was said to have occurred at around 7 p.m. at Ibalu Oba immediately after the return of the man, the Fulani headsman who had been living in the community from his farm. Speaking with newsmen in the early hours of on Sunday, Shewu's father, Halaji Umaru, confirmed the sad event and said, those people started shouting sporadically. They came, they, shot, they were shooting and shouting at our village and the people. And they kidnapped my son and took him away. All this happened and the happening was a shock to us. This has never happened to us before. We have reported the case to DPO Ayetel in Barakbo North at the Ayetel Traditional Leader House. We've also informed the Alafi police officers and the commissioner of police to follow us to the village on Saturday morning and we saw bullets that were on the floor as they came shooting and shouting out in the village. We have reported the case to all relevant authority. The chief, the traditional leader, police officers, commissioner of police who we were here on Saturday morning both to see the bullet casings on the floor. Alaji Umaro also said that the kidnappers called him on Saturday morning and demanded 10 million ransom before they would release his son. When they called him back in the evening, it was reduced to 7 million, he added. Umaru, who appealed to the government to help secure the release of his son, urged them to increase the monitoring of security patrol in the Barakbo area because killing and kidnapping were becoming worrisome. The Oyo State Police Public Relations Officer DSP Osifo confirmed the incident. He said the incident happened on Friday evening but was reported to the police on Saturday morning. So the Fulani community in Igbarapo are crying and are not happy with what is currently on ground and what is going on. Nobody, no human being, no sane human being will be happy that a member of his family is, you know, is, is kidnapped or killed it's, it's not right saying human being will be happy so you see this is what is going on right now and why people must really you know ensure that you know we, security becomes our watchword and then we do everything to ensure we have security if it means us letting the government know we are not happy with the current situation and listen guys the, we need to stand up and say the truth as it is we cannot be quiet and and allow these people to continue to do what they want to do. We cannot we cannot allow this to happen. We cannot. We must speak out and we must let the truth be heard. There is a lot of evil atrocity going out out there, and I know that these people probably they are trying to prove a point to the full and is to say how does it feel, you know? But listen, these people are not your enemy. And the funniest thing is that not all full and is are criminals. Not all. There are those who are infiltrating into the country from 
you know, different uh, uh, neighboring country flowing into Nigeria. And, you know, these are some of the people who are coming to cause the trouble here. Do you realize that some time ago, over 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, Nigerians all lived peacefully with Fulanese and there was no problem. Everybody was going about their life. You know, the Fulanese come, do what they want to do and go. Nobody was having any issue or problem. Everything was going on peacefully in accordance and everybody was happy. But what is happening right now today? Since they had their meeting and somebody, Buhari, came into power and they told them that they have opportunity to be able to take over Nigeria, that Nigeria belongs to them. See the twist in time, how things have rapidly changed, how we can see that if they don't, they are no longer working with Nigerians. You know, we can see that people are no longer happy. Before, people, I mean, people go about their lives, full and ease goes about their life. Everybody, hello, hello, and everybody goes on. But today, what's happening? The narrative is different, quite different from what, you know, we've ever thought about. This is not the way things used to be. Nigeria, you know, I mean, the country, things used to be much more in a better position, in a better light. But today, what is happening? We cannot keep quiet and allow these people to continue to do their own track and do their own thing. No way. We must all speak out and we must all speak up and say no to these who are trying to cause evil in our land, in our lives, and, and around us. People must be able to rise up and say no to infiltration of evil and those who are trying to perpetrate evil in our society. It's not acceptable. It's not is not criminal elements cannot continue you know to, to survive they are thriving because the government of nigeria is aiding them is supporting them and have not called their bluff this same fulani headsman activity wanted to start in ghana and guess what the president of ghana wore in boots and went into the midst of his people and said you know what any fulani headsman that comes to your farm with their cattle to destroy your crops call your neighbor kill the cows Go into your fridge, load it up. You have been set free from buying meat for the rest of the year. And guess what? They were the ones who made peace and says, ah, sorry, sir, we no longer. But what happened in Nigeria? They keep issuing threat after threat that they are inviting all their brothers from neighboring African countries to come and take over Nigeria. And our federal government does not investigate or look into this issue. So guys, now so the matter reach. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.